matter, atoms, molecules, comes in three basic states. It can be a solid, it can be a liquid, or it can be a gas. There is a fourth state called a plasma, which is found in stars because it's so hot, but we don't need to consider that just yet. So what are the names of the changes of state as we go from a solid to a liquid to a gas and back again? And we need to define what is meant by the melting point and boiling point of a substance. So let's first of all start by naming these changes of states. Right, let's start from a solid. When you add energy to a solid, the particles vibrate more, faster, with bigger vibrations, until they're vibrating so much that they break the solid bonds and they start to melt. So this is melting. And it will form particles which can then move around each other. They're not held in place anymore. A liquid. If you keep adding energy to a liquid, then the particles start moving faster and faster around each other. And at some point they move so fast that they are able to escape and break their liquid bonds to become a gas. And this is called vaporization. Vaporization. And there are two types of vaporization. There is evaporation and the most commonly known is boiling, which we will use most of the time. What's the difference between boiling and evaporation? Well, evaporation usually happens on the surface of the liquid. because Some of these atoms and molecules have enough kinetic energy to break their liquid bonds and escape as a gas. And that can happen before the boiling point. For example, a puddle on a, uh, a cloudy day will evaporate eventually and all the liquid will have gone, will have escaped as a gas and changed state. But boiling happens at the boiling point and that happens throughout the liquid. All of the atoms and molecules of this liquid have enough energy to start escaping as a gas. And that's why we form these gas bubbles when it boils. So vaporization, evaporation or boiling, leads to a gas. And gas particles are very far apart. They're moving in straight lines and colliding with their, the walls of the container. Um, so what happens when a gas, when we cool a gas, and these gas particles move slower? and slower until when they collide with each other they haven't got enough energy to, to bounce away and they stick together they become a liquid and so this is called condensation condensation and it's the same thing as if you were to blow on a cool sheet of glass the water vapor in your breath hits the glass and those gas particles lose energy and form liquid bonds, which is the, the fog on the glass. So we're back to a liquid. And if you continue cooling a liquid, what happens? Well, we eventually solidify the liquid. Solidification, solidification, and otherwise known as freezing. Which is the more commonly talked about. And so these liquid particles get cooler and cooler, they move slower and slower until they form solid bonds and they can no longer move around each other. They're held in place and can only vibrate as a solid. So these are the, the key words for the changes of state. Melting, evaporation and boiling, that's all part of vaporization. And backwards we're going condensation from a gas to a liquid and solidification freezing from a liquid to a solid. Now what's meant by the melting point and the boiling point of a substance? So let's quickly look at that. Here's a definition. So melting point, melting point, so is the temperature, the temperature at which 
a solid melts. Or it could be it's a, it could be the temperature at which a liquid freezes. Solid melts or a liquid freezes, solidifies. Now for most materials the uh, freezing point is the same as the uh, melting point. So they're the same thing. What about the boiling point? Well the same kind of idea. The boiling point is the temperature temperature at which surprise surprise a liquid boils or a gas condenses going backwards the other way so good uh, good definitions to uh, have at your fingertips and those are the three states of matter and the changes of state changes of state between them.